In this video, we're going to take a look at a few miscellaneous details regarding Desktop Server. In another video, we looked at what's under the Sites button, but there are a few things that I'd like to go over. One is this PHP Information button. This prints out a function called PHP Info, and it tells you everything there is to know about this particular PHP install. This configure command is very long and ugly, but if somebody says check to see if a certain thing is installed in PHP, you can come to this page and just search for it and maybe find it. For example, I'm going to search for calendar. And there it is, and you can see that we have enable calendar. But if we go down, you can see a number of settings, as well as other things that are installed. The Apache environment has some very interesting information, like what browser we're currently using, and what site we're currently looking at. And then below the HTTP headers information, it talks more about the various modules that are compiled and installed. And then here are some very common PHP settings. And so you may be trying to run an app and someone will say, well, do you have such and such turned on? And you can come in here and take a look. Here it tells us our memory limit is 128 megabytes. There's all kinds of interesting information in here. And unless you're really geeky, you probably don't want to read it all. But someday, somebody's going to ask you about some configuration option in PHP. And all you have to do is come to this page and search for it, and you'll probably find it. Now, if we go back one, here we have PHP MyAdmin. This is a web-based interface to MySQL, the database behind WordPress. And over here, you can see my WP41 database and my super cool website database, as well as a couple others. And if you click it, inside you can see the WordPress tables. And we can go over this information in a different video. But I wanted you to be able to see that PHP MyAdmin is here. And someday somebody's going to say, just load up PHP MyAdmin and run this query. You can ask them how to use it, but you'll know exactly where it is.